Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a T29, it's a tier 7 American heavy tank. It's located on the south spawn of Ensky Encounter and it's under the command of Goliath Killer 1. And he's just platooned with a T52 and an M44. Game started. Well, his guns dropped, but he is actually operational. Just picking the right moment to pull away to avoid the traffic jam. Well, this tank can carry three different guns, a 76mm, a 90mm and a 105mm. Let's see which one he's got. Oh, he's got the top gun, the 105mm, capable of 320 alpha, penetrating 198mm of armour. Now, this is a true heavy tank in every sense of the word, and the Americans only made a few of these after the end of the war because they deemed that heavy tanks weren't necessary. Oh dear, that was a bit of a mistake, because yes, they were necessary once the IS-3 had been seen. Now, this is one of a series of heavy tanks that were made. They included the T-30, which became a tank destroyer, a T-32, which became a heavy tank, and the T-34, which also became a heavy tank, but with a different gun, the 120mm gun. Of course, the... The T-30 had that massive 155mm gun, but he's got a nice pen there on the T-1. And the enemy tanks have been spotted by our T-52 teammate, but we put a round into the Black Prince. We took a round in the tracks from the Black Prince, but no actual damage as such. Oh, we have been damaged now, unfortunately. And, oh, don't flip, whatever you do. He backs up a bit, turning around. Let's see, get this right. Taking a few bits of damage in the tracks, puts one into the Black Prince. That T-34 is going to try and get behind us. The reload time is quite long, 9.53 seconds. Puts a big round into the T-34. One more round should be enough to finish him off. And he's gone down. Okay, now we can deal with that Black Prince. Okay, he's been hitting the tracks again. Go for the Stug. Yeah, he's out of the game. Amaract. Nice. T-34 is coming up to help us. And now we can finish off this Black Prince. Or at least it's going to take two shots to do so. That's one. The next one should be enough to finish him off. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've lost a few hit points during this game so far, but... We've dealt a lot of damage to the enemy, and there goes that TOG. And now we can proceed north. In fact, there's a Leo nearby who hasn't been dealt with yet. An enemy Leo, just around the corner. There he is. Okay, time to die, Mr. Leo. He's tracked him. Just go for the ram. Do a bit of damage. Yeah, that's helpful. Squeeze him up against the wall so he's not going anywhere. And now just fill him full of holes. And the T20 came in to give a bit of a hand. Okay. Now it's time to head north. There's only one enemy tank left. It's the Churchill 7. And well, he's in the middle of town, so we're going to have to go a little while to get there. But, oh, no, he's dead. So the game's over. So that was interesting. Bit of a brief battle, but um, all lots of fun. Two kills for Goliath Killer 1. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was a first class tanker for Goliath Killer 1 in the T29. He did get a demolition expert because he blew that Stug apart with one round. He got a shell proof for blocking more damage to the hit points of his own vehicle and fire for effect for doing more damage to the hit points of his own vehicle. And a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get eight. But best of all, he got some battle hero medals. He got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And he also got a steel wall for blocking the most damage in that game. Um, which is not surprising, considering most people were trying to fire at him and shoot through him. But a lot of the shells were just bouncing off. 3,856 was the win eight from that game. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. 
They again top of the table, the only player to get more than 2,000 hit points of damage. 2,481 in total for Goliath Killer 1, 1,378 for the M44, and well, the next high score after that was the T150 with 920. When it came to kills, he shared the top spot with the M44, T20, and the 555C. And when it came to base XP, he's got the top in that column as well, so technically you could say he's got the top in all three. 1,108 base experience points the only player to get over a thousand and 693 goes to the t52 his platoon mate who got a scout medal because he actually found so many of the enemy tanks and uh, 621 goes to the m44 as well he fired only 11 rounds in that game got nine direct hits and eight penetrations damage of 2481 hit points all of it done at close range he received 21 hits from the enemy, only five of which actually penetrated the body, 15 that didn't, and one hit by way of splash damage as well. 1,590 hit points of damage blocked by armor. Five enemy vehicles damaged, two killed, and 664 hit points of damage assist. On a free player count, he earned 31,125 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he still made a profit of 15,073 credits. He got two bonds, one for the high caliber, one for the steel wall, and 1,108 base XP, times two for the first victory, took away 2,216 experience points altogether. He says, T29, what can I say? Well, you actually put a hyphen there, that's the Soviet version. Uh, it should be T29 without the uh, hyphen. Uh, what can you say? Yes, it's a very strong tank. It's got good armor. And in fact, a lot of people think that the T-29 is a bit overpowered. But I think actually it's probably right, just right, for the tier that it's in. After all, its bigger brothers are actually at higher tiers. The T-34 is a tier 8. The T-30 is actually a tier 9. And the T-32 is also tier 8. So being at tier 7, I think this tank's just right. It's uh, it's a very good tank with good gun combinations. The 90mm, well, that's similar to the T26E5. And the 105mm, well, that gives it a bit of punch uh, for this weight or, or this tier. So considering most of the Soviet tanks are actually carrying 100mm guns or 122mm at this tier. So, uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.